welcome back to a new episode here in Swabi. As you might have seen, I'm in a different place again. But as they say, you gotta be like water. You gotta adapt wherever you are. Okay, so I know a few people getting married. So I thought, well, why don't I just make an animated title for weddings? This method doesn't only apply for wedding titles. You can use this method for pretty much any style of video because it's a sort of like a flexible method so i'm gonna show you that so make sure to stay all the way till the end so then i can show you where you can find these cool images and if you're gonna be able to download the project files for this one so that you can just use this one for free if you want to okay so the first thing that you're gonna need is actually the video that we have seen here and then the next thing is you're gonna need a frame but we're not seeing anything right now because that is a black image so it's like a png file with a transparent background and the image is actually black right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into fusion so we're gonna create a fusion composition and we're just gonna make it five seconds long so inside fusion what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a background node first of all and you can make this background node be invisible and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a second background node. We're just not gonna add the image as the actual input in the foreground because for some reason it's harder to change the actual color of things if you go that route. Okay, so we're gonna do these. We're gonna add the background and we can change the color of this background. And then we're gonna use our image, which is what I'm gonna bring right here, which is the PNG file. And we're gonna use this as the mask for our image. And that pretty much transform our Im the invisible PNG file that we had um, for our video. Then what we can do next is we can animate the actual background and add a mask to our background so that we can have that as the mask. So what I did was I went actually 48 seconds. So I just 48 frames. So that's going to be two seconds long for the intro because for weddings, you don't want probably your title to be super quick it has to be sort of like smooth and then it's gonna be at zero right here and then here we're gonna create the other keyframe and we can make these at one or actually it has to be a little bit bigger but we can invert these so then that creates that opening animation that we have Okay, so we have our entrance for that too. And we can also add the motion blur already so we don't forget about that later. Then after that, you're pretty much set. All you're gonna do next is we're gonna go and we're gonna add a text note, bring it here. And we're just gonna find whichever text we like. So what we what I did here was you just write whatever it's just gonna be and I don't know whatever it doesn't matter it's just for the tutorial sake and then you can find you can actually find a cool wedding font on websites like a thousand and one fonts so make sure to check that website that's one little knowledge like a value tip you can find pretty cool fonts there for pretty much any style of video that you have so we're gonna use a sort of like a I don't actually remember what I used for the intro one, but we're going to go with these monotype uh, cursive but right now, and we're going to make it bigger like that a little bit. And the reason for these is that it sort of looks like that style. And you can also change the color or leave it like that. It's up to you always. And what we can do is we're going to animate the shading of the, these, and we're going to use the same keyframe. So like 48, so it's going to be two seconds animation. And we're going to change the opacity from one all the way to zero to one like that so it's gonna show up at the same time that the other things are happening but then it's sort of like still a little bit too bland or slow so what i want to do too is we're gonna go to the layout section and we are gonna animate this size so we're gonna go from size one right here and then at the beginning it's gonna be just a little bit smaller like 0.8 point something like that so it sort of becomes a little bit bigger and then there's a little bit a little an extra trick that you can add later on so that it looks even cooler in the edit page okay so we have our basic title then one next thing the next thing we need to do is we select both of these and we're gonna go to the spline editor and then on the rectangle we select everything and we're gonna press ctrl 
we're gonna press Ctrl A and then we're gonna press F so everything is smoothing out a little bit and then we're gonna press T and I like to ease in and ease out everything a little bit so it's a little bit smoother and it looks better then after that if we want to reverse this we want it to go out again what we can do is we just select everything or press Ctrl A and holding Ctrl we're just gonna drag this like that and it's gonna look a little bit crazy right now we select everything and then down here we're gonna reverse our fusion compositions keyframes right there so that's gonna add the inside and outside points but right here you see our it's already out of our timeline here so you want to make sure that they're fitting inside it so that your animation doesn't get cut before it actually starts we can add a keyframe stretcher later on in here if you want it to last longer. So then our whole thing is pretty much done right there. Next thing that we can do is if we wanted to be able to drag it and make it dynamic, uh, we're going to go to the text part. We we'll select everything just to see the keyframes in the middle. So it's going to be from 49 to 69. All right. So we're going to add a keyframe stretcher right here. Keyframe stretcher. We're going to add the beginning. It's going to be 49. And the stretch end is going to be 69. So that means that when you drag it, the time in between those two key, those keyframes is what is going to be dragged out. So that's not going to affect the intro or outro of your actual video, right? Then that is pretty much it. Make sure that the ending keyframe source end here instead of 120, it's 119 because sometimes it can get a little bit buggy if you don't do that. And then we can just make sure to save always. So we have our title and now we can go back and drag this fusion composition that we have. And since it's a dynamic fusion composition, we can just drag this all the way and make it last as long as we want. And then the last thing that I showed you was that you can add a dynamic zoom right here. And then you can play around with the ease in or ease out options. So that is pretty much it and now all that's left is for you to enjoy your new wedding title that you can pretty much use and impress your friends or whoever hires you to make their wedding video. Okay, so then this last tip that I, the tip that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So if you go to this site called Pixabay, it's a site for stock photos or images. There's a lot of illustrations, right? So you can just, what I did was I I've searched for divider and then there's a ton of different things that you can use and adapt and play around with this same method. You can also use the polyline mask to make it a little bit more artsy, I guess, but that is the secret tip or really useful tip that I showed that you can use this resource to find all the images to make the actual animations that you need so that you don't have to actually draw everything so yeah i hope that this video was helpful i hope that you enjoy it and that you can use this same tip you can adapt this to any other industry probably and you can even make templates maybe and then have them and save a ton of time in the future for that from that and that is pretty much it for this video i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next episode here in suave bye